I will call the meeting to order. The first item on the agenda on, on the agenda is to approve the board meeting agenda. Um, I need a motion to approve it as presented here in the packet or if people have changes, let me know. I move to approve the agenda. In a second, okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay, we will wait. I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I how long his phone calls are. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 this is her first. My mother in law's babysitting. So, like, the first time, this is my first time leaving her with someone else. Oh but, yeah, she's four weeks old today. Aww. Wow. Baby is not welcome at meeting. Okay. Yeah. I, she's like, <laughs> I, I, I was like, I thought that. She'd have a bring your baby to work policy. Oh, yeah. I don't know how long she'd last. Like, she, like I'm a meeting, sure, but a two hour meeting, I don't know. Like, I don't know how long she'd make it. We might have to do some laps. I think we're expensive. Yeah. <laughs> we have to do some laps around the room. Well, she does not include her. <laughs> Um, making me miss the little nuggets. Uh, <laughs> my husband did joke when I was in labor that I could just throw my shoes on and come on over. And <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was already in labor for about. Yeah, I think you were, but um, but I think um, I was in about eight hours in by that point. <laughs> that was going crazy. I remember thinking, "Hey, I'm meeting people. Be something sensitive." Because you're going to mess you. Yeah, I was over at Mercy. So when he's like, just throw your shoes on, walk on over. I was yeah, like, so I was in there. <laughs> they tell you to walk while you're in labor. So yeah, they do. Yeah. I know. They tell you to walk up while you're in labor, but with COVID policies, you can't leave the room. So oh. it's like, oh my God. Where are you going? Like, you're just laughing around that. So crazy. Yeah. You know, how long do we give this? But the other thing we do is have a motion to change the order of the agenda. Keep going. We could. Yeah, that's a tough one. Oh, it's a that's just oh. cool. Hold on, I'm not speaking. Um, while you all were having your meeting, um, there are individuals that are not showing up, and plus your staff member. Um, is still making a copy of something that was interpreted to my few minutes. So with that being said, if who's the current president? Carol. Yeah. So for your June meeting, if a copy can be made for all parties involved, as well as that, thanks. And would today be the two-year anniversary exactly of George Floyd being murdered? You understand a lot of us who look like me aren't in a good mood today. Because it seems like things are going back to normal here in Iowa City. And as a taxpaying property owner, United States Marine Corps veteran, I don't fight. Because he's there, he's making copies of something that should have already been made and the request. It's a press citizen from exactly six months ago today. So with that being said, if this could be part of your agenda for June, because I prefer for my time to be valued, especially since everyone here is volunteering, who's on a board, but you're elected. But that being said, when he's done, meeting right there, it's the press citizen from Friday, the 26th of November, and it's self-explanatory as it relates to what occurred in Cedar Rapids and the discussion that the Cedar Rapids leaders had, with it, which was ethical and direct and honest, and what's not happening here in Iowa City. So when people choose to not share information and work together in what's assumed to be the corridor, you will continue to get what you've received. Because that's not shirking sure responsibility, by the way, with regard to those who look like me. It's called proper parenting. And unfortunately, and I'm going to say this for the record, Mothers who do not proper parent proper wreak havoc on the rest of us. So he's making the copies for your June 23rd meeting. This could be table per se. Could be greatly appreciated. And if you remember, as I close the door, 
George Floyd's daughter is in the same boat as the Reverend Bernice Howard G. King. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Maybe you want to have me pick out who he is next time. Well, I think we're just done. I think we're just done. And obviously, it, it, it won't be part of the agenda because. <laughs> You know, he doesn't send the agenda. Well, not especially. Well, I think you need something to record the speakers should be identified for one. Yeah, he's signed in, right? Yeah. No, he didn't. He, he declined to sign in because he's oh. not going to speak. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think. I thought you had. He's going to do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Um, we're to item four, um, appointing the bylaws committee. This is a regularly scheduled review of the board of directors bylaws. Um, and apparently we're up, it's our turn for the three year review. I have asked Hannah and um, Robin to serve with me on this committee. Um, I, you know, I, there's a few things that have come up over the course of my tenure as president that, you know, which is one reason I kind of wanted to be on the committee. I, if you have the, the things I know that we will address will be um, topics will be um, sort of setting out guidelines for public comment time and also um, maybe trying to address the idea of whether it's okay for people to zoom in when the rest of the board is here. So if you have other things that you feel need to be addressed, um, let, let one of the three of us know so we can be sure we get them included in the discussion. Um, I don't believe this requires board action. I think the president just appoints, right? So the next one is a meeting room and lobby use policy review. And I have to confess, I had forgotten that we were gonna review this in a, in a year, but um, Sam, I, I guess this is your thing. Thank you for letting us experiment with this. Nothing has been reported to me by patrons or staff in the last year other than there isn't any concern now when like a book club has like a birthday at the same time wants to bring cupcakes and confesses to us. They just bring their cupcakes and enjoy the space. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of nice. And if I knew when the cupcakes were there, we would have <laughs> that's all I have to add. We can add that to the bylaws for next week. <laughs> <laughs> so did, did we did we approve this last May? And, and there's no changes to it. So do we need to reapprove it? So this is just as a reviewed yeah, right. today. Okay. You know, I think if we don't vote on it, it'll come up again earlier than we intended to. So we might be better off voting on it so it fits back in the cycle of regular review. Except so this was a special, off. this was a special. Right, again, um, do you want to be doing it again in one to two years? Mm -hmm. Put it back in cycle for three years or more. And so that gets back into the entire circuit of, of yeah. analysis that we begin. Well, I guess I don't have a strong feeling. I, I'm okay with reviewing it again in two more years. I mean, yeah, the staff recommendation is to review and adopt. So adopt would be a board action. Okay. So then moved. Seconded. All in favor? <laughs> okay. Right. Decisive bunch here. All right. Uh, <laughs> next is the director's report. Oh, I don't have a brief one this time. There's one thing to add with after this was written, um, John Rayburn was appointed as the next trustee to the vacancy. So um, we will look forward to welcoming him. We had like a real shot in the dark, like one hour availability that could two hundred orientation and before this meeting <laughs> work out the schedule. So we will do it before the, the following as required by the bylaws. Otherwise, I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, 
Um, I missed the bookmobile quilt, which makes me sad. I guess I was just so wrapped up in being in the bookmobile that I missed the quilt. <laughs> It was brilliant. Is it here in the library? Yeah, it's in the children's uh, part of it. Oh, okay. Well, oh, I can walk. I can her, uh, yeah. yeah. Who quilted it? I forget. She's in charge of parks. Yeah. Oh, she's brilliant. Okay. Um, no one else has. So you put on that you don't want to go to the national conference. But do you have a hesitation about the uh, state conference being here in the fall? Do you have concern about that? I don't have a much more concern. No. Um, and it's, I think that the ALA conference was good. There were sessions I would have been excited about going to, but I am not presenting, and it felt like um, the window was critical. So it's not just COVID. No, but it's sort of a, a package. Okay. Um, hopefully, by fall. There'll be something for your younger child. Okay. Um, departmental reports, adult services. Jason? Um, I took the photos out. It's not a touch to read. I couldn't think of any smaller and still have you identify what the photos are. No, I. <laughs> it really wasn't two months, it seems like. Uh, so there's a lot to pack in. The well, card showed up like a day before the report was prepared, so I had to put that in there because uh, Victoria's been anxiously awaiting its arrival for two months. There's boxes of things laying around. Mm. I, 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 I'm probably just. Naive, but I wouldn't have known what a black poetry poem was. So oh, I appreciate yeah. that illustration. No, uh, Stacy had sent me about six different ones, and I was like, these all work awesome. And I can't it's cool. I also think the community trainings is a really, mm -hmm. it's a really positive thing. I mean, Especially with our unhoused patrons, that uh, it, it's more common, and seeing that underlined and getting special attention for schizophrenia is really important. So, thank you. Yeah, and a good connection with Cindy over there. She's taking a new position in Florida, but she's going to stay on at the community as well. Really, mm -hmm. um, so she'll still be doing remote training, which is how they can do remote training now with this age. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to stay on. Um, see who else is local with me. But I'm more personal. If I were her, I wouldn't move to Florida in the summer. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I have a good job down there. <laughs> the birthday this summer, so. Okay. Um, then community and access services report. Well, any questions? Uh, Jason, you have a question. Y'all have been busy. Yeah. It's been an absolute joy to experience this too. Um, when you think about as a new community member as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's been a joyful time personally, professionally, and I was really relieved that Paul and Tom took the insect zoo because that is not my scheme. <laughs> <laughs> other than that, we anticipate more in the summer, and then we're just going to kind of take our pulse and, and check our pace and see what, what the future holds after that. Okay. And Patty, I guess you're up next. Thank you to those of you who have made reservations for our first ever publishing party. The author happens to be a former board member for the Friends Foundation, Kitty Levy, and um, the New York Times ran a review Monday of the book, and it's getting even more play now. So it should be a fun evening. We do have a rain location just <laughs> today. In case, yeah, it's spring, summer, whatever this is now <laughs> in Iowa City, but 
Um, we've still got room for more reservations for the, the fundraising part of the evening. Otherwise, the 7 to 8 p.m. is open to everyone and there is no charge and it should be lots of fun. We're happy to answer questions. We're, we're wrapping up this school year and have only one more email to read. So we'll that before your next meeting on June 15th. If you are still in the room. Again, I'd be happy to answer questions. I think that the novel that on Goodreads has got pretty good stars. Yeah. I, I think I, I got it on hold. It was on order when I checked, I think. Right, it just came out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I assume there's no miscellaneous. <laughs> um, the... I, we've already approved Eric and Dan for the Friends Foundation Board, but in order for it to be included in the trustees board minutes, I'm going to appoint Dan and Derek to be the trustee representatives to the Iowa City Public Library Friends Foundation Board. Um, the... Well, Ellsworth already said we do have a new board member, John Rayburn. He's been around Iowa City for 45 years, so I suspect a lot of people know him. I don't really know. He was an English professor in American Studies and headed up the department for several years for those two. Uh, are they departments? I guess they're departments. So it's too bad he couldn't get oriented before this meeting, but it just... Um, didn't happen. Um, I did attend the, um, I think Ann called it the city services appreciation day, something. Anyway, the thing that was at the um, public works building, the new public works building. And if you were able to attend, good for you. Um, that we were talking earlier about the amazing quilts that was there. And I um, had to admit to, um, I think Heidi was sitting in the bookmobile, that it's the first time I've ever been in the bookmobile. So I have to, I said, I'm really embarrassed to admit that, but she told me I didn't have to be embarrassed. She was very kind. And we talked about books and, um, and then I hung out at the at the table for a little bit. I think I was number 375 on their clicker. So mm -hmm. I, I think that was pretty good representation. I, I don't know. Um, let's see. We did the bylaws committee. Um, Ellsworth, I, it is an amazing building. I mean, I, it's hard to imagine. Is that where they park things? Yep, it's where they park the store multiple but they can't do the bookmobile there. We're talking about it. But, <laughs> and there's actually pros and cons to it. It would add some travel time and things like that. But I am working with a, a colleague on whether that would be an option. Um, look, it's, it's an environmentally high certified. It's um, all kinds of cool. They've got the wash bay right there and lots of um, routine maintenance and repairs and things like that. So it's a, it's a pretty cool. Uh, yeah, no, it's it was so clean in there. It's hard to imagine actually they park vehicles in there, but I, I guess they do. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know that we're getting close to the end here. Um, I would furthermore. <laughs> There's a great onion article about this situation. We don't quite have our act together, but Claire, on behalf of the board, <laughs> we would like to give you a small baby gift. 
Oh, and a card. Oh, lovely. I got a lovely gift from the friends, too. Oh, a lovely so a book from your Lois Eller, which I love. I love Lois Eller. I read her books to the children and make them cut shapes out of um, construction paper oh, in the style of Lois Eller. So I was happy to give that. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it was lovely. And this is wonderful. Oh, my no, book. Perfect. <laughs> She already really likes um, very hungry caterpillar because of the white on the colors and the white, black, and white on white backgrounds. I mean, who doesn't? And I would have bought it, but it's like, she, she I know, but she already has it. It's like Pat the Bunny. Yeah, right. Everybody already has Pat the Bunny. Everybody has it. Oh, these are wonderful. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, this is already, she's already doing very hungry caterpillar. So I'm wondering, we're going to sign up for 100,000 books before kindergarten, too, of course, because. I think we'll hit it in no time. <laughs> <laughs> I think, because especially because I think you can read the same book over and over and over, and over again. And you will. Um, and <laughs> I, I, I've already hit it. I know that's coming. <laughs> well, I thank you. Can say honestly that that was probably my favorite thing about parenting young children was reading reading, reading yeah. stories because yeah. kids' books are amazing. Good. They yeah. are better and better. Yeah, I miss them. Um, yeah, uh, that's, I was at high schools for, for, you know, for forever, and it was really fun to go back to the elementary school because the picture books have gotten better, and they're just, it's so fun to buy them. <laughs> it is so fun to shop for picture yeah. books. Yeah. <laughs> spend not my money on it. <laughs> um, are there announcements from other members besides Claire? No? Committee reports. Since the Friends Foundation didn't meet, um, the bylaws committee hasn't met. Um, communications. I didn't think there were any in the packet. Were there? Okay. Um, then the next thing on the oh goodness, we, we had time for Mr. Landry. Um, next thing on the agenda is to approve the consent agenda. Um, I need a motion to approve that if the minutes look good and the disbursements look good. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And we've got the agenda for the June meeting. Um, I, once again, will not be here. Um, so Tom has do my best. kindly <laughs> offered to take over if he doesn't. Derek, I guess it's you. Um, so it goes. Let's see, we, the only thing on the agenda right now is the committee reports and departmental reports. We will probably have a noble bucket um, so that the board can take a look at it before they need to approve the following. For review, though, not for yeah. approval. Okay, anything else? Doesn't hardly seem like a meeting. All right, it's, it's, okay. it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. My husband won't have dinner ready for another hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't get started. Okay, well, in that case, we will adjourn.